Well, hello there. My name is Stephanie Scheller. I'm a master sales trainer with Eric Waffle International. I'm a business coach, consultant, and a marketing strategist with a focus in digital marketing. And my great heart when it comes to marketing is for social media because it is cheap, it's fun, and it's super effective. Today, I want to try and tackle the elephant in the room as far as social media marketing goes. And I'm going to try and limit myself to just 10 to 15 minutes here. And I'm going to talk about Facebook, how to market on Facebook. Now, the question is, why did I pick Facebook? Okay, that's actually pretty easy to answer. Pretty much everyone is on Facebook. Your niece, your brother, your daughter, everyone is there. One in five page views in the United States is on Facebook right now. And last time when I talked about choosing your Facebook platform, choosing your social media platform carefully, I'm pretty sure most of you already have a Facebook page. And with 1.1 billion users, yeah, billion users, um, your audience is on Facebook. So when you're building a social media marketing or Facebook marketing campaign, you have to think about, well, when you're building any social media marketing campaign, you want to think about why do people go to my platform? So why do people go to the Facebook platform? And what is the trick to translating those viewers into money? Well, people go to Facebook to connect, to socialize, and catch up on what other people know. And while they're doing that, they find out what their friends are listening to, wearing, eating, ideas they're working on, where they're going, and most importantly for you, they find out what they are reading. Now, with 1.1 billion users, Facebook has a big problem in that there is so much data out there, they cannot possibly serve it up to everyone all the time. So you have to find a way to literally stand out in the crowd. There is more content out there than you can really keep up with. So how do you stand out in the crowd? Well, you stand out in the crowd by getting your post in front of more people. Right now, data on Facebook is organized by edge rank. That's their uh, proprietary filter. And it's determining how much your users are interacting with certain content. And then it feeds each user more of that related content. So it ranks your interaction based on really three things, likes, comments, and shares. Do you like it? Do you comment on it? Or do you share it? So if you want to stand out in the crowd, you need to find ways to get people to like, comment, and share your page. Clicks count. Um, they do, like Facebook will care if people click on your account and go check out your clicks. But really, these are the three that they care about the most, the like, the share, and the comment. So you have to start getting people to like, share, and comment. Um, tell them what to do. I tell everyone that you know most internet users are pretty lazy and they'll do what you tell them to do. So if you tell them, hey, share this post for X reason, like this post. I mean, have you ever seen those silly ones that go around, you know, share this picture of a cat for no reason whatsoever. There's all of those and they go all over the place because people do what they're told to do for the most part. So tell them, like, share, or comment below. Just make that simple little statement and it's really going to do a lot for helping push you further. Now, here's the other way to increase your interactions. What is your audience like? What does specifically your Facebook audience like? If you don't know what they like, you need to find out. So start asking them. Send out surveys. You know, so you can send out a little survey on your Facebook page, or you can post pictures and quotes. Do they like inspirational quotes? Are they into TV shows? Which TV shows? Are they into movies? Which kind of movies? Do they like comics? Do they want funny? Do they want serious? Uh, are they into sports? You know, what kind of sports? What teams do they respond the most to? Uh, so you put these feelers out there. Just, you're really just, at this point, you're literally just trying to entertain your audience. Find out what entertains them. And then you go, look, Facebook has those fantastic analytic tabs. So go in there and see which of your posts are getting the most interaction. And that's going to tell you what your audience likes. It's really, truly that simple. Now, of course, if it was really, truly that simple, 
everyone would be doing it, right? So first step though, you have to find your audience. Ask them questions, find out what they want. And you have to get Facebook thinking that every post you put out there, people love. The people love everything you send out because then you send out, you know, silly comments that maybe don't have anything to do with your business directly, but they get interaction. So now when you send out a post that's trying to sell a book, sell a magazine, sell an article, sell, you know, run a sale, or when you send out a post that's actually going to make you money, then Facebook actually puts that out in front of more people because they know that your posts in the past have been very engaging. They've been very interactive. Facebook, I've said it before, Facebook wants to be the Google of social media. And so they're very careful to make sure that everything they show you is designed to increase your interaction and your enjoyment. Now, this is the problem that we run into. The way Facebook's algorithm is structured right now, you're only really allowed to reach about three to five percent of your audience organically. If you want to get beyond that three to five percent of your audience, you either have to have a super engaging content or you can sponsor a story. Okay? And this is what I love about marketing with social media because it is so specific. Um, Facebook, the sponsored stories, for those of you who don't know, they show up in your newsfeed. They tend to show, you know, that other, you know, your other friends like it or, you know, some kind of really uh, engaging information. It looks like an actual organic story for you. And Facebook will actually go, if you go onto your page, Facebook will actually suggest which one of your posts are most interactive, are most engaging, and which ones are going to get the best attention if they're sponsored, and they'll suggest which ones you should sponsor. They do use kind of a quality score, kind of like Google does with, uh, with SEM. If your post, when you sponsor it, is out there getting a lot of attention, it's getting a lot of likes and comments and shares, and it's really doing well, they're going to serve it up to more people for less money because it's a better user experience. People are enjoying your story. Whereas if your story doesn't really get put out there or it gets put out there and people aren't responding to it, they're not really going to share it that much. So you have to figure out what your audience responds to and then sponsor stories that they're going to respond to. And then here's the the absolute best part in the world as far as Facebook social media marketing of any kind, you can focus your dollars. So if the trick to getting a wider reach with Facebook is to make them think that your content is the most engaging, most interesting, most informative and fun and relevant information out there, every time you put a post out there, you want to get it in front of the people who are going to engage with it, right? So for example, if you have an article about women's rights and it gets a lot of engagement and interaction from other women, when you go to sponsor the story, send it out to women. It doesn't, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of thinking to make this happen, but send it out to the same demographics that are already responding to it. Because you want Facebook to think that it's super interactive. And if you send it out to a mixed audience, Let's say um, only women are responding to this women's rights article and you send it out to men and women and it goes in front of 50 men and 50 women and only the women respond. And let's say 50% or 100% or of the women respond. Every woman that sees the ad responds to it. None of the men do. Your ad, your post looks like it only has a 50% conversion rate or interest rate. Whereas if you targeted just women, it would look like it has 100%. And so Facebook's going to look at that and go, wow, these people really know what they're talking about. So then here's the best part about sponsoring a story on Facebook. Once you get in front of these people, now you've got their attention. And so you have the opportunity next time you make a really good relevant post to show up in their newsfeed again organically. If you can get them to interact with you again, you're going to keep showing up in their post. You can literally 
when you design your posts the right way, you can stay in front of people for a very long time off of one or two sponsored stories. Just make sure that you're focusing in the right direction. So the, a quick summary for you guys. Facebook advertising is basically about knowing what your audience responds to so that you can get them to engage with your posts. And by engage, I mean like, share, and comment so Facebook will serve your content to more and more people. Success is going to be a combination of great interactive content and sponsoring the already hot content to achieve a greater reach. So that Facebook thinks that you are the most wonderful thing on the planet Earth. And then when you go to actually show a money-making post, they're going to serve it up to all these people because they think that everyone's going to respond to it. And guess what? They will because now you've built your brand up for these people. So I wish you guys the best with building your Facebook strategies. If you have questions, you want some feedback, you need some help, Feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to chat. And next time I come on, I'm going to be focusing on how to craft and build a YouTube marketing strategy that is going to blow your mind. Thanks so much, and I look forward to chatting with you again very soon.